Hi everyone. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate to you today is um, removing stickers from a cricket bat. Now I've done some research um, on the internet and I found various opinions as to what the best way to do it was. Um, but so I thought I'd uh, have a go myself and um, show you my results. Um, so first off, I've got to say that I'm certainly no expert. I'm just a Sunday casual player um, and I'm just doing this just to tidy up my back from last season ready for the new season uh, so just to show you what I've done so far um, basically to show you the before and after um, on this side of the bat here I've got uh, some stickers uh, on my Slesinger they're slightly peeling away they've, they've sort of come a bit loose they look a bit tatty and what I want to do is to show you how I'm going to take that off and make it look like the other side, which I've just completed. Um, I've taken away all the stickers, all the glue, and given it a bit of an oil. You can still see that there's a slight uh, pale area where the stickers were, um, but that will fade over time, and I'm not too fussed about that myself. Um, so I'm going to take you through all the steps that, that uh, I did to get there. So first of all, I'm just going to take off the existing sticker. Now try and take off as much of the glue as you can, but um, inevitably you're going to leave behind some some residue. And in this case, um, there's a there's like a it looks like a white um, residue left behind. Um, I'll just show you there. If I just take some of this sticker off, it's it's completely coming away already anyway. So the top layer is just peeling straight off, but it leaves behind uh, this sort of white um, layer, which is completely stuck onto the wood. So I'm going to show you how to take that bit off. Okay. So uh, yeah, so I'll just get rid of this and then I'll come back to you in a second. So I've uh, taken away the top plastic layer of the sticker and it's just left behind um, its sort of white glue layer. Uh, it's not sticky on this part, but as I, as I peel this away, it's gonna be sticky underneath. And uh, from experience from doing the other side, um, this is a bit of a laborious job. So I wouldn't suggest removing stickers unless you really, really want to, um, either because they're damaged or because you really want that clean look. Um, but I'm doing it because it's it's damaged and I want to just sort of tidy up and make it look clean for the new season. So I'm just trying to show you here what I'm doing with my uh, fingernail. I'm just lifting the uh, the residue off the bat. Um, it's a long old job this and then all it does is just takes the residue and just puts it into a, a sort of a, a roll behind my nail here and um, slowly I can Slowly I can uh, lift the white glue from the surface of the bat. Um, doing it this way will take a long time, but it uh, ensures that the um, the wood underneath is, is not going to be damaged. Okay, so uh, I've done a single pass um, on this sticker, taken off the white um, glue residue. I've uh, done that with my thumbnail, just lifting the white off and then rolling it into a ball as I go. Now you can see um, that I'm just left with there's still white residue there for sure but um, not so much as before. Uh, it's quite sticky now. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do a quick just a tiny tiny bit of white spirit on a cloth and run it over the surface there just, just to break down the the glue there and um, don't want to use too much because white spirit will um, ruin wood and uh, you don't want it to dry too quickly so a quick rub over wipe off the excess and that should just slightly break down the surface of the uh, glue there. I've been um, <clears throat> Working over this edge um, using this cloth, it's got a slight amount of uh, white spirit on it. I'm just running my thumb behind using the nail through the cloth and just working away any of the uh, any of the glue residue. It's just building up in front of the cloth here. We can just see it just rolling into balls, little sort of pale grey balls of uh, of glue. There we go, you might be able to see I'm just gathering the uh, the glue up in front of the, uh, the cloth here. 
Maybe uh, I'm going to show that to you. You can just see it just uh, sticky balls, basically. And that's looking, looking pretty good. It's not as sticky as it was. And you can see uh, where the stick has been, the, the wood itself is quite pale. Um, obviously it didn't receive, it wouldn't have received much in the way of oil um, when I oiled it previously because obviously the sticker was there and it's not really wise to oil over the stickers, they'll, they'll just start lifting if you do that. So what I'm doing now is just running over the edge of the back with some very fine sandpaper. This will clean it up, get it ready for filing. Um, but what it also does is it just highlights any any small areas where there may still be some glue residue left. Um, what you can do if you spot those after you sand is you can just use your nail again and just tease those out, roll them up into a ball and discard them. Basically just keep going over like this. Um, it's a long process, if you want to do it properly it's going to take you a while. I'd suggest that you've got to give yourself for this edge, um, it's not a huge sticker, but it's probably going to be at least half an hour per edge. So if you were taking the stickers off the whole back, it's going to take you, uh, well, probably half a day, something like that. So it's, uh, it's quite a long old job, but uh, I think it's worth it. Results are good. Okay, so... Uh, there she is, she's cleaned up really nicely. No more sticky residue on there. Nice and smooth. You can see where the sticker was. Um, as I said, there's, you, know, you can work on that if it really bothers you. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just, just apply a little bit of uh, linseed oil directly to that area. Um, I need to do that a number of times. Um, and let it soak in over a few hours and then come back to it, add a bit more. And um, I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. I think it's the best way to make sure it really gets where you want it to be. Um, no point using a cloth if it's going to soak up the oil and not allow you to really sort of get to the parts where it really needs to be. So there we go. Great. So there you have it. Nice clean edge on both sides. Hopefully those uh, those pale areas will uh, go after a while. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm going to leave the rest of the stickers on because I think some stickers look good. Um, the rest aren't in too bad shape. Um, so I'm just going to work this oil into the rest of the bat now. Um, and there you go. So I hope it's been useful for you.